Earlier, several counties in southeast Nebraska are under a tornado watch, and tonight we have a crew in Hallam where people are watching that storm, especially close tonight. Chase Moffitt is in Hallam, which was nearly wiped off the map 12 years ago. He continues our coverage live. Chase. Hey, John and Mallory. Yeah, we're live here at Hallam, where in 2004 that tornado ripped through the area. So whenever there's a big severe weather situation like we're seeing tonight, they're on high alert and they have a team ready to go. Behind me, you can see the tornado siren here in downtown Hallam. Since that storm in 2004, they tell me they put a battery backup so that if the power does go down in town, they can still sound the alarm. But we can go some VO of that storm from 12 years ago. It was a devastating tornado that ripped through the area. Now, since then, we've been talking with those in town uh, who know that uh, rebuilding, they continue to rebuild and they continue to strive to make it as safe as possible whenever severe weather hits. We spoke with a local emergency manager who was out spotting that storm the night that tornado hit Hallam. She'll be out tonight if need be. And she said one of the things they've been improving on with their resources is direct radio communication. We've implemented, we have the spotter system and they have radios that they communicate with me and then I have a radio that directly communicates with emergency management so if we need something down here we're able to get the word to them immediately. Now Mike was talking about the severe weather situation right now. This is looking to the south behind us. You can see those dark ominous clouds. If you kind of move a little bit to your east uh, towards that direction, that is the Beatrice area. Now, in fact, Dawn tells me there's a team of six that will go out in three pairs. Um, she's been in direct contact tonight with the Emergency Operations Center in Lincoln. We'll let you know more coming up tonight at 630. What the plan is if this situation gets more severe here in Hallam tonight. Well, Chase, you can certainly hear the wind whipping around out there, and it looks a lot more eerie where you're standing tonight. Right, yeah, Moffitt. definitely. You can definitely tell the storm is brewing off to the south. All right, Chase Moffitt reporting live.